so what I'm going to do is show this here. This is by Modded Warfare. This is for the ESP32 S2, and he uses a um, different way method of flashing the firmware files and stuff. Uh, I didn't do this method. You're welcome to do this, but I'm going to show you a different way. This is showing Michael Crump's tutorial, because this is the one I followed, and uh, he provides all the files as well. I'm doing the same. I've got a bunch of the, fi the same files. Uh, you can need Arduino. This is the Interactive Development Environment, or IDE. You can download the Windows version. You're going to have to skip this and skip it again, and it'll get through and it'll download, but I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to worry about that. So anyway, you're going to go here. This is ESP32 Server 900U. You don't want to download this, just go here, download zip. This comes with all the jailbreak files for the exploit for ESP32 S2, S3, and ESP32 boards. There's more info on this GitHub, it'll be linked in the description. You're going to need these two libraries, which you're going to find here. This link, you're just going to download zip, and then go over here. And Same with this one, the ESP Async Web Server, you're going to hit download zip. And once you have these files, you're going to want to uh, make sure that you're still on this page, because you're going to need this. Okay, so on the actual ESP32 Server 900U GitHub for, by Stooged, you want to download this, or copy this, and once you install your Arduino IDE, you're going to open it. First thing you're going to want to do, go to your preferences, you want to scroll down. Why is it now? Let me scroll down. Try this again. File, preferences, there we go. You're going to want to paste that link, not that one, but this one, right there. And you're going to hit OK. You go to your tools, you go to your board, you go to Boards Manager, and you're going to type in ESP32, and it's going to be the one by Espressif. Um, I don't know if this one works, but this one's higher updated, so I got the latest 3.04, and I have uh, installed that. You're going to do that, and then you're going to go to tools again and you're going to go to board and you're going to go to your uh, ESP32 and you're going to select your model mine's an ESP32 S2 so I click it and I go with that and then I'm going to make sure it's on the right COM port mine's actually on 7 so I gotta click on that um, so make sure it's on the right COM port and the way you can do that is window key X so window key X you're going to go to device manager See right there, the ESP32 S2 is there. Yours might show unknown, but that's fine. What I'm going to do is just to show you this again. I'm going to plug it. I'll plug it in. Now, I didn't hit the button, um, but I'm trying to find a... Uh, where in the heck was this thing? Oh, you know, it might not work because it's flashed. Just fine. So, yours might show up in here. Um, I don't know. It, I, I'm not going to look for it, but basically what you do here at this point... So once it's plugged in, you can hit the res or the zero button. You hold the zero button and you hit the reset button once, and then you let go. And then this will refresh, and then you'll get a pop-up. ESP 32S2. See, there's the port. See, there it is now. But it, there you go. So the port's COM LNP2 or LMP LPT. You're gonna see COM7. That's the port you're gonna use to program the ESP32. Uh, so. Again, tools, or port, COM7. And then, make sure you're on the right board here, whatever your model is. Then you're going to want to make sure all these settings match up with yours. You're going to want to change a few things, like PS and PS RAM, you're going to want to enable that. Like I did there. You're going to want upload mode to internal USB. And uh, upload speed's good. What else we got here? Everything's looking pretty darn good. So we're going to leave that the way it is. Now, you got to install libraries. So in order to do that, you can go to Sketch. You can go to Include Library. You're going to I'm going to add Zip Library. I'm going to have to locate my directory, which is going to be right here. And if I was to add this, the async TCP, it's going to say I already already exists, right? So we're going to hit X, we already got that. And we're going to do that again, go to Sketch, Include Library, Add Zip. 
go back to your directory and you're going to click your ESP32 async web server this time. So you want this one as a library and this one. And then once we click that one and we add that one, I already have this one installed as well. So I'm going to hit X again. But now you've installed your libraries for the required files. And now what you want to do is you want to go to open. You're going to want to locate this directory and you're going to find an INO file and you're going to load this. Okay. Once you load it, it should pop up a new sketch pad here. There we go. I'm going to hit X. Just close out the other one. Okay, so once this is loaded, we're going to select our board. Make sure it's on the right board here. Um, go through our settings again, make sure everything's still the same. Internal USB, PS RAM enabled. Um, and uh, COM port. COM7, there we go. So COM7 is still good. So we are good to go. Now, if you want to adjust a few settings, you go down to line 67, you can change the SSID. Um, to whatever you want or the password really irrelevant in my opinion don't really need to mess with it this um, I don't mess with I don't even touch this stuff I just leave everything the same you're welcome to mess with it but there's one thing that the guy that I see messed with and that's the USB weight I tried that it didn't it didn't really work for me maybe it was too quick um, I'm gonna do about 7,000. He did 3. I'm going to do 7,000 seconds. Or 7 seconds. Um, but there's another thing if you change that. So you're going to control F on that. And you're going to search for USB weight again on line 348 and 349, which may change with updates. And then you just hit control S to save it. And now it's saved. Now we have that set up. But there's one more problem here. If I try to build this, I'm going to get an error. And that error, I will show you right now. So if we go to build, like I said, it's already in DFU mode where it can be programmed. So it's going to compile it first before it uploads it. Um, and that's where we're going to get our, our error and to kind of jump to the error. This is the, the problem we're going to get. The set auto connect function has been deprecated as of May 30th, 2024. Right here. So this was three months ago, so it should be updated, but I don't know why it's not. But weird. So what I did, I made a post on this. And how I fixed it. And what I did to fix this is you go to line 761 or you just search for this error if you get it, which will be Wi Fi dot set auto connect. Put those forward slashes there, comment it out, or you could delete it. It's up to you. I just comment it out. So I got an issue. It was this sketch is over 103% and uh, disk management it doesn't pop up there. So to fix this, you go to tools and you're going to want to go down to partition scheme you're going to want to change it from default 4 megabyte with spiffs 1.2 megabyte app down to huge app 3 megabyte no OTA 1 megabyte spiffs and that was the solution to fix this problem okay so that definitely fixed it um, by a long shot now it's actually uploading so that was the solution to fix that, a workaround anyway. I don't know what the implications are. So there, it's verified. It's completed. This error is okay. You're going to get it. As long as it says leaving and it's hash of data verified, you're good. Um, so now, what I can do is I can go back here. And I can take my ESP32-S2 and I can test it.
Okay, so literally one button, two buttons. Four buttons, five buttons. I press five buttons. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, that's pretty fast. Look at that. It works, no problem. That's amazing. <laughs> that is awesome. Again, you know, I got the other one, you know, but I don't need to use it because this is, this is a lot better than PPPoE. Because it's, you know, the WebKit exploit from, it's just more dependable. Uh, to uh, this thing, right? One button, turn the PS controller on. Two buttons, hit the account. Three buttons to go over. Four to hit A, or X. <laughs> and then there's all the payloads, so usually this would be two ups, but whatever, let's just consider this one. And then we'll just hit A, so I mean, it's what, four or five buttons. Kind of lost count, but you know. Look at that. Almost on the spot switches to gold hen once it sees that. That's fast. That's fast. That's awesome. So there you have it. So that's all the diagnostics, fixes, and everything I've went through to you know fix this. I set the USB weight to seven seconds or seven thousand milliseconds. I didn't really mess with any of the settings up here um, which if you do change the USB weight so if you're getting USB weight we want to come at line 348 and 349 and then we're gonna go to line what is it 761 yeah right there and comment that sucker out and then if you get the thing is too big because you're running the 4 megabyte with spiffs just go down a huge app on this and it, it'll give you enough space and it works. There's no problems with it. So yeah, that's it. Enjoy. Have fun. I like this a lot better than Muckfox.